It ain't no easy way to say what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Shit should have been done a long time ago. Y'all motherfuckers got on a bus to protest justice or else. All y'all motherfuckers. Justice or else. Question. How y'all get on a bus and go out of town to fight for justice for your people? But at the same time, y'all sitting around protecting a pedophile. All y'all niggas know. I met. You said you let the apartment go in Bronx River because you got tired of all that shit that was going on in that room. You knew. Question is, I was a little boy at the time. Why the fuck you ain't never knock on that door and pull me out of that room with that grown ass man? Why y'all let so many years go by of this man running around and even still, a couple of years ago, you got stabbed because he want to be sucking a, uh, sucking a man dick, you date raping motherfuckers and sucking a dick in they fucking sleep. And that's why you got stabbed. And that's why he got stabbed. And everybody running up to the hospital. Oh, bam, got touched. Yeah, he got touched. He should have been touched a long time ago. I don't even understand how I ain't touched you. Big brother, big homie. I don't understand how I ain't air you out. But I guess that's why I've been to jail so many times for, for so many homicides. You fucked my brain up. Really did. Even though I ain't never killed nobody. I just been in jail the whole lot. Y'all get my drift. You fucked me up as a little boy. So much to the point to where that. <laughs> when I get head. Wifey be like. You been fucking all them bitches now. You can't even get hard for me. Nah I'm just having flashbacks of a grown ass man. Sucking on my fucking dick. At 12 years old. Playing with a bunch of little fucking boys. You ain't just touched on one little boy, nigga. You touched on a thousand. Hey, Paul. What if I sat up here and I told you that Bam was fucking your little brother? I saw it. Tafik, let's stop playing games. Bam was playing with your little brother, too. We can keep on going on. You can come out of the closet. You was a little boy, too. Bam was sucking on everybody, little pee pee. You fucking child molester. You a f You nasty. You the reason why I hate gay people. I should have been exposed your ass a long time ago. But it's kind of hard to tell somebody that a grown man touched you and you ain't a f It's kind of hard to even look a motherfucker in the face. It's hard for me to make this video. Bottom line to it is, y'all protect him. Amber, Ahmed, Tafik, all y'all niggas protect that nigga. Y'all know what the fuck he is. Y'all know what he is. You invite people to Zulu Nation, you know what they say? We ain't fucking with them boy lovers. And it's sad because you got a lot of great soldiers, a lot of motherfuckers that lost their life behind the Zulu Nation. Lost their life. Y'all said ain't no room for homosexuality and hip hop? How the fuck you say that? The founder, the creator of hip-hop, Africa Bambata, Lance. Not only is he a f but he fuck little boys. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is coming from one of the realest niggas in the streets. Y'all know me. And let me make something clear to y'all. Any one of y'all bitch-ass niggas that know me, that make a video, that stand up and go against what I'm saying and y'all know it's true? It's on on site. Point blank period. I'm not biting my tongue. I'm airing everybody out. You cover up for that nigga, it's on. The worst motherfucker in the world is a pedophile. The worst motherfucker in the world is a pedophile. Y'all covered up for that nigga. Y'all knew what he was doing. I mean, how many boys you seen go up in that motherfucking room 
before you close down that apartment. That's why you let the apartment go in Bronx River, because you got tired of him fucking the little boys. My question to y'all is, like, why ain't nobody never kill this nigga? Why ain't nobody never stop him? Y'all let that shit go on. All of y'all. Muhammad, I'm not saying, and I don't know if you knew about Bam, but what I am saying is, that last homicide I went to jail for, fucking with Nudie, over you getting shot, I be for years with that man over you getting shot. I went to jail for a body over that shit. And I wasn't guilty. I'm not guilty. But anyway, I fought for you. Don't protect that nigga. He fucked little boys. It's a lot of grown ass men dicks he can suck on. He like little toddlers. Don't protect him. Do not try to discredit me. Because I'm not going to play with none of y'all. Nobody. I don't give a fuck who take it personal. That's what you call yourself now. Whatever. Did you not just tell me, Joe Poe, how Bam got locked up when y'all was in Brazil for fucking that little boy? And he got banned from Brazil? He's still touching little boys and y'all going on tour with him? So I think Bam been fucking your little brother for years. Alibaba. You can deny it all you want to. I saw he, I ain't the only one a nigga was touching on. I got a thousand more names to pull out the fucking bag. You protecting him? How real is that? We just had to talk about this shit. Y'all thought I was going to keep my mouth shut? It was hard for me to come out and say what I'm saying. Because the reality of it is, as a real nigga, I got a reputation in the street for getting busy. But that ass nigga still walking around. I guess cause I, I guess it's cause he was like a father to me. And I've been molested so many motherfucking so many times as a kid, my mind ain't even straight. Y'all protected him. Y'all keep protecting him. I ain't protecting him no more. I refuse to. They say real niggas do real shit. Well, this is the realest shit I ever did. Exposing. Africa Bambada, Bambada Asim, aka Lance. You fucked more little boys than a little bit. You got choices. You can run around and play with grown ass men. Why you want to play with little boys? Knock on Bam door, shake that nigga hand. Everybody got Vaseline, a bunch of fuck up in that bitch. Playing with little boys. Hill Jerry, remember that day you had that fight in your house? Brent and all us was up there. Brent, remember when you asked me? You was like, all right now, Poppy. Bam done tried something. Everybody in this room, only thing about it is y'all niggas was grown. Same age as him. What he try out with you? And the whole room just bust out laughing. Remember that? Mike? Crazy Mike? Phil? Oh, yeah, remember, remember that? There was a thousand niggas in that room that night. Y'all niggas thought it was funny. I didn't. Later on that night, I couldn't even go to fuck to sleep. Because I was that little boy that he tried. Little wee-wee sucking motherfucker. You faggot. You a nasty, disgusting motherfucker. I don't even understand how I stood around you, protected you, and did so much shit for so many motherfucking years. And I want to put another on blast. Even though he never did nothing to me. But as a kid, I had a best friend named Raheem. I ain't seen him in years. He used to be molested by Russell Simmons. Another so when you're talking about your pioneers and how it ain't no room for homosexuality and hip hop, oh, what's room? It's room for homosexuality and pedophilia. In order for you to make it in that motherfucking game, you got to do some sick shit. That shit is a cult, a sick cult. This is what they do. Everybody knew this shit about Bam. Russell ass too. You was sucking on Raheem Dick. And your rich ass would send him home with $100 in his pocket so he could keep his fucking mouth shut. Y'all niggas make me sick. Remember what I said. Y'all niggas come out of y'all face the wrong way. Just for me exposing this shit, you know I got to be in a lot of pain and a lot, a lot of anger built up. I will air 
one of y'all niggas out for trying to discredit me. And I don't even go for niggas that don't know me. I expect y'all to take up for y'all for, for your sugar daddy. Y'all niggas that know me, y'all know. A lot of serious niggas died behind the Zulu shit. Spreading peace and love. Do I still stand behind the Zulu nation? Hell motherfucking yeah. Do I stand behind Bam? Hell no. And I will not support that shit ever again as long as he's still a part of a member of that shit. Fuck that nigga coming out of the closet. Go get counseling. Stop playing with them little boys. Suck grown man dick. Leave them little kids alone. Coming from your little brother. You know.